I posed nude for an art class today. They didn't ask me. I think they were making ceramic bowls. Anyway, welcome to Shave and Butcher, and it's time for another new uh, creature, creation, creature, creation from Arefa Soap in Ukraine. This is more than ritual. And this one is bare tallow, just like uh, the last one I, I showed. This is a small container, uh, 50 grams. Normally they come in 100 grams and they are 16 euros plus shipping. I do have the matching aftershave as well. And this one, the, I have a sense of what this smells like already because I shaved my head with another soap and I used the aftershave on my head and it's nice. It's something I like. It's very, very woody uh, with, uh, with a twist. So uh, anyway, I'll get to that. <laughs> the, the racer today is from Sweden, C.V. Heljestrand. This is number four. I cleaned it up. I got it off uh, an auction site and I've honed it. So let's hope it's okay. We'll see. Um, I still never know. I've, I've test shaved a few razors today, so I have a patchy growth. It's a bit all over the place. Uh, and in some places it isn't. But we'll do a proper shave this time. So, um, yeah, let's lather up. It's a very woody, very much a sandalwood soap. I've loaded from a bowl because I didn't want to ruin the soap. Ruin. I didn't want to mess it up with putting a wet brush in it. Sometimes I do that. I don't always know why. Maybe I'll pass it on to someone and it's just a little bit nicer to receive a soap that hasn't been tampered with in the way that you tamper with the soap when you load from the tub. So woody sandalwood, top notes are white and red, I think, sandalwood. Base notes are sandalwood and, and cedar. And the base notes are sandalwood and vanilla. And I like vanilla in, in soaps, especially in soaps that aren't the perky cheerleader type soaps, but that are, I mean, this is not a dark scent at all. Wow, th this is going to be messy. And I'm not talking about Lionel. I'm talking about messy messes. I'm putting a towel on the floor, which I should have done from the get-go. I like vanilla and musk. I think that's a, it's a very interesting combination. Okay, a bit of water. I think I have a lot of soap. You never really know, or I never really know. Some people weigh the amount of soap that they put in a bowl when they bowl lather. So it's a half a gram or a gram or something. If this was 50, yeah, this is probably a gram or so, I would, I would guess. I'm not as well worst in the gram world as you might think. Someone knows too much about, about grams, you may want to be careful. It's already nice and picky, but I'm going to add a lot more, a lot more water. So there's a bit, there's not a, it's not a spiciness to the soap scent, but it's something I think I think Arefa called it woody oriental or something. 
but, but it's not the oriental spices, it's more the sandalwood as such. But it's different from other typical sandalwood soaps that are typically, well, a bit lighter, a bit brighter, perhaps. And I'm not always a fan of sandalwood. I do like, um, God, what is it called? The French one. Uh, this one. Savon à barbe Osma. Can you see? So that's a sandalwood, but a more traditional, perhaps. That's a lovely one. I grew tired of sandalwood because I used a lot of it for a long time. Yeah, that's good. That's good leather. It's another bear that didn't die in vain. Oh, I have so much, so much leather. Very curious about the racer. It's almost backup mode. I should have a backup. I do if I have to, of course, but a bit nervous. Let's see how we did. Oh no, I think we're, I think we're home free. There's a section I shaved already. I put the racer down incorrectly. Let's see if there's blonde. Marvelous lather. Yeah, feels good. In Europe, we have this thing called the Eurovision Song Contest, which is taken seriously in some countries, Sweden being one of them, and not at all serious in other countries, such as you know, the UK. But it's a big thing in Scandinavia and some of the Eastern European countries. And in Sweden, we take it so seriously that we're now in the quarter final race for picking the Sweden song. <laughs> it goes on for months or weeks and at least. I quite enjoy it. So, Song makers compete, but also really the artists who perform the songs compete as well. And uh, yeah, it's sort of fun and games. So we're apparently watching that tonight instead of instead of NHL for once playing at a time that I can watch it without. Waking up in the middle of the night. Or watch a rerun. But I'm, I'm not going to argue. If I'm the only one and... Kids are here. And if I'm the only one who wants to watch hockey prime time on the Saturday, then I'm not going to insist. Well, I could, but that wouldn't help. I would lose the battle. Yeah, shaved there already. <laughs> but the first pass felt very good. You know, I always say you don't really know how good a racer is until you do a pass against the grain. 
it's not entirely true. Of course you have a, of course you feel what it's like on the first pass as well. You do. Oh, today I put a razor I purchased and cleaned up and honed myself. I put one up for sale. I wasn't sure if I dare do it, but I am claiming in the the advert that it's professionally honed. I am not using those words, but I'm saying it's shave ready. I think it is. Maybe I should sell this one as well. So I think it's good enough. Powerful scent. Okay, dry fingers. Let's see if we can do it without tissue. Yeah, we can. Ah. There you go. So who wants to buy this razor then? Maybe wait till the end, to the final verdict. <clears throat> but it's so much fun, honing. And I, I will make sure it doesn't become a chore, you know, it doesn't become something I, I just do. But I am buying some bracers, you know, cheap ones mainly, that I can clean up a bit and then hone. because I've honed, I've honed pretty much all the racers, uh, all of my own. There are a few I haven't touched because I don't dare. And I stood there looking at racers I had honed, you know, well enough as, and thought, should I do them again just to, <laughs> just to have something to hone? And that's ridiculous, obviously. So um, I bought a few, you know, beat up ones. Some of which were once very good racers. They just need a bit of love. There we go. It feels good. And this, the soap is so good. This, this soap base, this bare tallow soap base is it's unbelievable. Well, no, it isn't. I believe it, but it's, it's darn, darn good. You should try it out. Arefa soaps, A-R-E-F-F-A -F -F soap. And I see people are starting to use it. Or maybe they've used it for a while and I haven't, I'm only now noticing. Yeah. 
little bit shaky today. But I have to say, at the moment, and you know this changes with, over time, but at the moment, my, t my two favorite artisans are Arefa and Grooming Cult out of Greece. For the soap base and for the scents. Okay, we're down. No pickups, no third pass, the standard two pass. First pass is essentially with the grain and the second pass is essentially against the grain. Yeah, okay, an okay shave. Not as good as, as the heart ring razor. But I'm not gonna sell this. Um, I might take it for another spin on the stones, but... Yeah, yeah, good enough. Well, not quite good enough. <laughs> so I will, I will rehone it. Um, but it, it's part of the process and I, I honestly don't know when I finish on the finishing stone I don't know if it's going to be, if it's going to be good enough I'm not there yet real owners will know but the soap was great I'm going to use the aftershave and I will enjoy it and it's quite powerful it's quite a strong um, scent so North Americans will like it. It was from Arefa soap. What is it called? More than ritual. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Let's stay sharp.